Today we want to tell you about an excellent product from Industrial Polymers created specifically as a way to reduce three-dimensional objects proportionally down to any size that you want without having to re-sculpt the part. The product is called Hydrospan 400. Hydrospan 400 is a product that's mixed with water and it's poured into a silicone mold. It cures very rapidly and within about two or three minutes you pull the part from the mold and it is allowed to dry over a period of days. It can be used in a food desiccator or in a dry, low uh, humidity environment to achieve the fastest dehydration. To demonstrate the ability of the Hydrospan family of products, what we've done here is recreated an object. In this case, it's a 9 millimeter handgun. The green is actually the size of the original handgun. This brown color is a Hydrospan 400 that has been shrunk using four parts water to one part Hydrospan resin. This part was made for Hydrospan 100, which we talked about in earlier videos, and this was an expanded 60% larger than the original piece. By looking at all three, you can see you can get anywhere that you want in between, and even higher and lower with subsequent moldings. Here's a face mold that was done the same way. Extremely high detail, and this was shrunk at 4 to 1 also. Every detail was preserved in the original casting. Working with the Hydrospan 400 to determine how much water you need to use to get the desired shrinkage that you want from the original part, you should look and refer to the technical data sheets for the Hydrospan 400 to give you the right ratios of water to resin to use. In this case, we used a 4 to 1. It's going to give us almost a 50% reduction, but the water levels aren't exactly 50% to one to do that. So again, refer to the technical data sheets to get those correct numbers. The water can be used from one to one, one part water, one part resin, all the way down to one part water, one part resin to eight parts water. And it's not advisable to go above that one to one rate or below the one to eight ratio to achieve that. We do have some things that can retard the, uh, the reaction if you need. The reaction is rather quick. It's from like one to three minutes, depending on what's your reduction, how much water is used with the individual polymer. To demonstrate the ability of Hydrospan 400, we've chosen some molds to work with. These molds were made of polyurethane, not silicone. In Hydrospan 100, as we talked about in earlier videos, you do want to use a silicone mold because it's going to be absorbing the water. However, with the Hydrospan 400, you can use polyurethane molds with silicone release to uh, get the same effect because the water is going to be leaving the part. In this case, we have a polyurethane mold of a human face. And in this one over here, we have a split mold of the 9 millimeter that we had demonstrated earlier. So what we're going to do is give it a light coat of silicone spray. And let the molds dry for maybe one or two minutes before we put the Hydrospan 400 into it. And we're going to show you how to mix that up. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate the product Hydrospan 400 to you. In this case, we've chosen to shrink the part to 30% or 70% less than the volume of the master. In this case, if it were like a 9 inch tall image, it would shrink down to 3 inches tall. So I've got my water ready and I want to use ice cold water to give me as much working time as possible. So I have four parts water here by weight and I have my Hydrospan here that's already pre-measured. So I'm going to pour this into the water mix with a flat spatula, not a round or square, and then immediately pour this into my molds, taking care to uh, make sure that I get it in there as soon as possible because it's fast setting.
Well, we mold the parts and you saw how fast they set up. In that case, I use 60 degree water. If you want to get slower curing rates, you want to use ice water, okay, with actually ice cubes in it. 40 degree water probably double the life of the working of the material. You can see the Hydrospan 400, when combined even with four parts water, has made a substantial polymer. It's not wet, it's very dur durable rubber, although it's not high tear strength, but it's excellent for you know, holding the image. And over a period of the next few days, this image will turn to a semi-transparent uh, brown amber and become this size. Again over here on the 9mm handgun, it's the same thing. You can see that this will shrink over a few days to the same size that this is right here. To demonstrate how well that the water's held onto it on a molecular level, this is the residue that was left in the bucket from our previous pour. And I'm just going to tear this in half to show you that not even squeezing can you get the water out. It's held on a molecular level, it's bound. But it will evaporate out on its own over a period of days to reveal the shrunk, reduced part in perfect detail. Well, we've made the parts, but we want to tell you a few things about Hydrospan 400. It's a great product, but there are some limitations. One, whenever you do the parts, you want to let them dehydrate themselves in an air-conditioned environment. It's not good to force them in an oven. An oven will actually reverse the polymer in some cases. Or a food dehydrator would work as well, too, but if you do it too fast, you might get some surface cracking. So the best thing to do is let them dehydrate on their own in a dry, air-conditioned environment over time. Of course, size, too, there's a limitation with that. We found that about six inches and about two inches deep is about the right and the limit that you want to work with on that. We've had some customers report actually slicing the, the piece up into smaller cubes, letting those cubes dehydrate and shrink, and then reassembling them. They go back proportional, and the report is with, with small amount of remodeling, they get a, a very faithful reproduction. So, with a few things to learn and a few things not to do, Hydrospan 400 is an excellent product for your reducing needs.